Libra, welcome to your money career finance reading for the week ahead. As you guys know, I saw the Brinks truck yesterday. We pulled up at the same time, at the same location, and my guide said, you are on the money. So let's get to it, Libra. I've got two tarot decks here. We have the Queen of Swords off to the side just to let you know when I heard this card when I heard this card when I saw this card I heard your protection the bird on her shoulder the sword is at rest she honestly looks like she's taking a nap Behind that, the Five of Wands. There's definitely been a lot of 111 on the clock, a lot of fighting in regards to um, this money. But you fought your way to the top, and you are. We're going to start with the Light Sears Tarot here. After the pre-shuffle, we have the Devil. And after the pre-shuffle of the Fortune cards, we have the Water. Look at these similar colors. There's no coincidence there. I just heard Sublime. Sublime. Now, at the end of this reading, we're going to do Charms. And we're also going to use my dream cards to see different ways that you can increase your finances at this time. But we will start with the Light Sears Tarot. So with this water, emotions are at their peak. You either have a Capricorn or a water sign energy utterly obsessed that they could not make you one of their puppets. They could not control you. I had to change the meditation music because you guys could hear an ad starting in the background, but shout out to Cardi B because that's who was on the ad, fellow Libra gang. And I just so happened to stop at 222. So if you've been seeing 111, 222, this reading is most definitely for you. Let's continue on. So somebody's big mad Libra, they couldn't make you their little puppet, okay? Wow. Confirmation on confirmation. I don't know why this deck does not want to shuffle. The High Priestess. You were given a heads up. You work for the divine, not the devil. Mm -hmm. somebody may come around your house at night three 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 okay so if you've been seeing one 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 two 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 three 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 this reading is most definitely going to resonate for you anyways back to this one more shuffle somebody's been creeping around and they've seen something. One of your spiritual protectors. And now it's like an alarm has been sounded off with these crows. Like, oh, snap. Libra is really protected. You're a free spirit. Page of Wands. We're starting here. Four, four, four. <laughs> We're just going to see all the angel numbers, I guess, Libra. As the dreamer of my dream, I spontaneously and passionately ignite this flame 
This is about your explosive creativity and infectious enthusiasm. Ideas aplenty, creative new beginnings, a newly found inspiration, honing a new skill or passion, curiosity and trying new things, gifting yourself the permission to dream, and great energy for creative ideation and brainstorming. Also having that youthful spark. Let's go. First card, money tarot spread. Will money be coming Libra's way soon, spirit? I think I just saw an orb out of the corner of my eye. Seven of Pentacles, Libra. Yes. But you may not see this right now. Five, five, five. <laughs> I cannot. Oh, my goodness. Okay. A lot is happening beneath the surface, obviously, in this card. It's all, a lot is happening beneath the surface. I'm not going to say all of it, but so much is happening behind the scenes that you just can't see. But your dream has been rooted, has been planted and grown roots. The Seven of Pentacles. Yes, money is coming your way soon, Libra. You just can't see it right now wow with the wheel of fortune but please believe the cycle is turning in your favor you will be riding on top of the wheel i heard once again second card what career opportunities should libra look into What career opportunities should Libra look into? Wow. You got two cards. The Ace of Pentacles, excuse my sinuses, and the Wheel. What career opportunities should Libra look into let's see here and you have the queen of swords at the bottom you know what you deserve accept nothing less queen of air and my kings of air you're being asked to keep your emotions in check through this transition period why I say that look at the little bowl don't let your emotions get the best of you okay you see this little bowl of water but it's behind these little bars and um, thread whatever that is it's like just what I said, keeping your emotions in check at this time, Libra. You know whose team you're playing for. The divine. It's like you have the upper hand. She's sitting on top of a tower in the clouds. As high as the birds where they fly. You're flying high. What career opportunities you should look into? For many of you, you're meant to be either the leader, the manager, the boss, or your own. Self-made, okay? The Wheel of Fortune, Queen of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, it's truly giving self-made energy. I feel in order to truly receive 
the abundance that the Most High wants to gift to you, you have to do something on your own. I just saw 10, 13 on the clock. Shout out to any Libras born October 13th. For whatever reason, I just heard Friday the 13th in my mind. Keeping up with the cycles, the changes as well with the Wheel of Fortune. But you see the dice around her neck? It's, it's like taking a risk. It's like taking a gamble, okay? Check it out. Your risk, the reward, will pay off 1111, Ace of Pentacles, number one, the wheel, 10, will pay off in leaps and bounds. And you see how she's drawing energy from the light and the dark. It's almost like career opportunities where you transform the dark into the light will also bring you in your Ace of Pentacles abundance. The Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the Creator. Pentacles is material, okay? So as long as you use your mind and you stay sharp and you stay above the fray, 12, 12 on the clock. Okay, so let's run down these angel numbers we've seen. 111, 222, 333, right? Or did we not see 333? I forget. 444, 555, 1111, and 1212. Wow. keep going. What will support Libra or serve as an obstacle as Libra pursues success? Going into business for yourself. We have a king of wands in reverse. with the Ace of Swords at the bottom. This could be a Leo with a lion in the background. Lions can be very intimidating. What will help you pursue success? I don't want to say becoming less intimidating, Libra. You don't need physical force, okay, for your success. You need to use your brain. Look how the pineal gland. 1414. Look how it's shining through the center of her mind outward. Use your mind. Use your third eye. To move up the ladder, to move up the steps of success. You're not going to have to force anything. I feel like the King of Wands can be forceful, aggressive, like I said with that lion, intimidating. 
Now, there could be a King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, masculine in reverse, okay, that is trying to block your success because you have outsmarted them when it comes to business. Ace of Swords. You saw through their BS with your eyes closed, but your third eye was always wide open. You listened to the divine cues. You listened to the cues from nature. King of Wands in reverse. On the shadow side, being overly ambitious, a need for compassion, egomania, being too assertive, explosive emotions, or impatience. So those are characteristics that could be put, that could be an obstacle. Okay? So again, try not to be too intimidating, Libra. Control your emotions. We got that in the beginning of this reading because somebody, I've been getting that channel for a while. Somebody definitely wants to see you blow your top to cause behind that a hindrance. So keep your cool. Ace of Swords. This is about new ideas, clarity, an aha moment, truth revealed, awareness and heightened states of consciousness, memory or thought, communication, victory, success, and triumph. It's also about a stroke of genius. So what will help you pursue success, your patience, and following, I heard, following your light. The path that has been, the path less traveled path less traveled. This is all about communication, victory, success, and triumph. A stroke of genius. Massive clarity is on the way. A new door is opening for you, often unveiling a life-changing idea or a significant spiritual breakthrough. Expect aha moments of lucidity to pierce your awareness and to reveal a totally fresh vision for your future. Be smart with your money at this time. The Four of Pentacles behind that. Yes, money is energy. But be smart. Conservation. Saving the best you can is smart right now. The Seven of Wands behind that. Know how protected you are. Again, with the Seven of Wands. Just a different deck. She's in her protective bubble. The only chakra illuminated on her is her solar plexus. You need to meditate as well, Libra to further your success. There's something in meditation that the Most High, the universe wants to reveal to you and meditation will help you activate your solar plexus. Your solar plexus is the personal powerhouse. It's representative of the sun, okay? All right. 
Let's do a little clarification with the other tarot before we move on. There went my pen. Okay. Wow. I just cut the deck open to the King of Swords. See? Looky there. My Queen and King Librans. With the bird always on your shoulder. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Will money be coming Libra's way soon? Can we clarify that Seven of Pentacles? Even though I know that's exactly what it meant, yes, but things are just happening underneath the surface, behind the scenes at the moment. Have patience. Ooh. The lovers. I just heard June. June's going to be a really significant month for you, money-wise. With the temperance angel at the bottom. Earth angel energy. And again, temperance is about having patience. It's also about alchemy. Transmuting the dark into the light. Taking the darkness thrown at you and transmuting it into light energy. Also with the lovers, you could receive some type of gift, help. from a lover or someone who cares very deeply for you. Gemini, energy, temperance is Sag. Let's see what the lover says in this book. Unification, choices, harmony, and relationships. There could very well be an earth angel coming in to assist you. To help you finally free yourself from that cycle that's been happening. All right, let's keep going. What career opportunities should Libra look into? <laughs> the Four of Cups. He has his back. He's laying against a tree. Something that has to do with nature or bringing people, grounding the energies. The Queen of Swords is back at the bottom. Let's read the Queen of Swords. We've seen her so much. Confidence, assurance, organized and intellectual. 
definitely organizing everything in your life. Everything. Your home, your phone. You have so much organizing to do. And that's also going to help you advance in your career. The more organized you become, the more free space, the more space you free up for this new money to flow in. Now, the Four of Cups. Meditation. It can also be about apathy or discontentment. Okay, I'm just going to take what I immediately got channeled because it was meditation. When he was laying up against the back of that tree. Maybe you're meant to do meditation retreats. Maybe you're meant to create something that has to do with meditation. 26, 26 on the clock. Let's see what that angel number means. I know I am. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. I know I'm supposed to be doing something with meditation. And I know what it is. I just have to do it. Angel number 2626 is a sign to find balance and trust yourself. 2626 may find you during a fraught time, but your angels are confident things will turn around soon. Just practice trusting your gut and working to implement more balance and harmony in your life, even when it's hard. All right. Now, one more. What will support or serve as an obstacle as Libra pursues success? The Four of Pentacles. And it did pop out in reverse. With the Nine of Wands at the bottom, protecting what is yours, protecting your creative ideas and businesses. Four of Pentacles. This is what could help or hinder. Having stability, control, and security at this time will help you. What will not help you is greed or being materialistic. Now is not the time. I can't tell you guys, I still have gift cards from Christmas to clothing stores. Maybe even from my birthday that I have not spent yet. Because it's like, yeah, we Libras love to be fly. But that's that's like the last thing on my mind right now. Stability, foundations, security for years to come. That's where our focus should be at this time. The luxury items... All that will come in time. All right, let's get you some fortune cards, Libra. The shield. You are safe from harm. There's that raven, just like I said with that seven of swords. I heard they're having to switch up the plan. Things did not go as planned. 
if anyone was trying to take something from you, Libra. Or harm you. You were protected the whole time. Wow, interesting. I'm going to place that on top of the lovers. Passion and romance await the stars. So someone is being led by the stars, divinely led to you. A long journey brings rewards. None of this was for nothing, okay? I'm hearing everything is everything. You haven't come this far just to come this far. The Sphinx. Moving forward with the serpent at the bottom. A sly and subtle approach is needed. The Sphinx says, choose your words carefully. You could have some big name companies that want to work with you. Two more fortune cards for Libra, please. Okay. That's definitely more than two, but we're going to take them. The wizard. Right in the spot in the center of what career opportunities you should look into. Using your skills to aid others. I heard Master Magician, Medusa, Jealousy Leads to Downfall. If you are not happy with what you have, okay, always know you have more than most. If you have your own room, your own home, your own car, food in the fridge that just kicked on in the background at the perfect time, you have more than most. You have more than many in this world. And just because you see somebody driving a brand new Benz down the road Fight any type, fight off any type of feelings of envy or jealousy. 3333. Because what is for you is for you. And it cannot be taken. Next, we have serendipity. Bright. New prospects are on the horizon with water. Back again, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You may have some type of project coming up with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Or this is confirmation that there is a very jealous, envious, someone around you that could have water placements heavy cancer scorpio pisces and if that's not the case you'll be able to tell because this person is like always emotional or there's always something wrong or they're never like enough is never enough for this person that is jealous of you they could literally have more than you, Libra, okay? They could be set for life, 
But for whatever reason, they're very envious and jealous of your manifestation abilities, of who you came here to be. Just know bright new prospects are on the horizon and you are meant to use your skills to aid others. Let's get some charms and then we'll pull the dream cards out. Let's read some charms for Libra. Money, career, finance. Money, career, finance. That's good. Oh, I'm hearing one more. Okay. <laughs> the key is in the wizard's hand. I cannot do this stuff on purpose. <laughs> Cheers, Libra. You got the tiny cup. <laughs> Look, it's a gold cup. Cheers. And look, that's so crazy. The key landed in the wizard's hand. You literally have the key. You got the keys, keys, keys. Now the first charm out I saw was the angel feather. Confirming your protection and your connection with the divine and the angels. We have a shell, little seashell. Maybe some of you are meant to live by the water, by the sea, by the ocean. I just heard your healing abilities are mostly activated with water. Hmm. For many of you, no matter how much water you have in your chart, for many of you, Libra, I know the water is my natural habitat like when I get inside the ocean or the pool I feel home I feel healed I feel powerful I feel rejuvenated I love water now that being said I don't have much water in my chart you have a flower symbolizing new growth. We're entering the spring very soon here in the Northern Hemisphere. But also that flower symbol could mean something to someone out there, Libra. <laughs> the crown. Let's go ahead and put that on top of the wizard's hat. You're divine. Your DNA is royal. I just heard that's why you were born a Libra. Wow. Beautiful. That's a beautiful flower charm. So two flower charms. Let's see what the flower. Five petal. Yeah, they each have five petals. What does a five-petaled flower mean spiritually? According to Quora, in some cultures, the five petals of a rose are also said to represent the five elements of nature, earth, air, fire, water, and spirit. In other contexts, the five petals may be associated with the five senses or the five fingers of the hand. You're definitely going to be hands-on. The more hands-on you are with your career, money, and finances, the better, the bigger the blessing. It's also something about okra. And hibiscus. Okay, let's look up the spiritual meaning of okra and hibiscus. What is the spiritual symbolism of okra? Providing nutrients and healing in the body. 
Wow, the slime from okra can be used for protection, uncrossing, and removing spiritual blockages on your path. Okra is a staple food our ancestors brought over across the water. This is amazing. And it has many spiritual and health benefits. The okra flower symbolizes good luck and prosperity. What is the spiritual symbolism of hibiscus? I just heard According to A to Z animals, it is offered in worship to the deity as a symbol of devotion and spiritual purity. Its vibrant red color also symbolizes divine feminine energy. Wow, it's associated with goddess Kali coming through for you, Libra. And also heard hibiscus tea. I think I might have some. I'm I think I might have some. Hold on. I do not have hibiscus tea, but shout out to my mom. This was one of, she got me this for Christmas, among other things. Love you, mom. But look how awesome this whole entire tea set. It's super blended, super blends. It's the wellness collection. And just check out what's inside. Okay. Yes, I think I might get some of that immune support. I think I might have some of that immune support today. So tea and also hibiscus. Oh, look. Well, isn't that what that is? That's why I thought I had hibiscus. Because I knew I saw it on the tea. Look, it's right here. Huh. Interesting. Maybe it's mixed in with one of those teas. All right, let's keep going, Libra. So, very interesting messages. I hope you have enjoyed this reading. We're going to end off with my dream cards. Let's pull some cards. What can Libra do to help increase their finances at this time? What can Libra do? To help increase their finances at this time all right we're starting with clothes at the bottom so organize refresh the wardrobe it's definitely time for me to go through my wardrobe again as we enter spring go use my gift cards get some new pieces yes i understand um also, the importance of looking like you're about business, okay? Now, whatever I've said previously about, you know, not the luxury items will come in time, okay? For those that desire those sort of things. That's true. But what this card is telling me, you need to organize, go through your wardrobe, freshen things up. You know, unfortunately, people treat you how you make yourself appear. This, we didn't make the rules. I didn't make that rule, okay? People treat you, <laughs> in regards to your appearance, you don't have to wear luxury to be taken seriously. You don't have to wear luxury to look good, to take care of yourself, to look put together. Luxury has nothing to do with that, okay? What would help Libra at this time increase their finances? Thank you, Spirit. Interesting. You got actor celebrity the color yellow and the solar plexus is sticking out to me so much right now something about utilizing 
the color yellow to attract at this time. Hmm. Let's look this up. You need to dress the part. You know what? That's what I'm hearing. And again, has nothing to do with luxury, but you need to dress the part, Libra. I'm sure you already do. Like Libras, we stay fly, uh, 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 okay? But something about your appearance and dressing for the part. Let's see what yellow. What does yellow mean in money? According to Bertram Financial, it is money where the most important objective is liquidity. That means that the money is there for us to take if we need it. This also means that we want the money to be stored safely. Thus, yellow money is safe and it's liquid. What? Yellow money is safe and it's liquid. Gold? Now I'm hearing, living your life like it's gold. Living your life like it's gold. And... Hmm. Okay. Let's keep going. Two more cards, please. And let's end this reading out. It's getting really long. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans. Thank you guys so much for your support, always. I love you all from the bottom of my heart chakra. My genuine, real Librans. Two more cards, please. Here we go. You're meant to help people... Uh, some of you are honestly meant to help people heal their demons. At the bottom of the deck, demon or monster. Confirmation with that knock. Numbers. Numbers. Hmm. Something about researching, something about the algorithm. I bought a book for my nephew for Christmas. For one of my nephews uh, for Christmas and it was a YouTube book on how to break through the algorithm and that's what I'm hearing right now what number sticks out to you the most out of all of those Go research what that number means, okay? To me, the eight sticks out the most. And I know what that means for me. We just had animals at the bottom of the deck. Some of you are definitely meant to work with animals. Okay, I've seen this fire card like three times now. This is going to be our third card. Fire <laughs> with superhero powers <laughs> at the bottom. Okay. Sometimes we have, no, at all times we must ignite our own flames, our own passions. Ignite that flame again, Libra. Ignite that passion. What is it going to take for you to become as passionate as you once were 
get back to that okay with the fire card and the superhero powers Okay, I'm going to read this card. That was crazy. Dreams in which you have superhero or magical powers are typical of childhood, but you can have them at any age. Perhaps you're faced with malevolent forces, but discover you have supernatural abilities to resolve the conflict. Whether strength, flight, telepathy, x-ray vision, or clairvoyance. Generally, such a dream suggests that you're tackling some kind of problem in waking life and would prefer it if the issue just magically disappeared. However, an alternative is that there's some hidden talent or potential within yourself that you need to discover and develop. Being invisible may seem like a superpower, but it can also be a sign that you feel ignored or neglected in waking life or feel your life is insignificant to others. The dream is urging you to be more assertive or self-motivated. That's crazy. I just said that with the fire card. The opponent in a superhero dream may be a rival in love or work. Or, pe or perhaps an aspect of yourself. There's your... You have superpowers, Libra, literally. It's time for you to be more assertive and self-motivated. Wow. What an interesting extra long extended read. For Libra land, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Stay balanced, stay blessed, you guys. Until next time, peace.